before we get into it, feel free to use the timestamps in the description so you can go through this video like a breeze. Also, take a minute to download your free copy of the radius chart for circle skirts and cascades from the link in the description box. That way you can easily follow and understand this tutorial. Next, let's take a quick lesson on the types of circle skirts. It's really nothing fancy, but there are four basic types or ways to cut a circle skirt. By saying this, we haven't even talked about the division by the radius method or even the slash and spread of the basic skirt method. To use the radius chart for circle skirts and cascades, you have to know first of all whether you're going to cut a full circle skirt, three quarter circle skirt, half circle skirt or even a quarter circle skirt. With this in mind, we can move on to understanding the chart better. At first glance, the chart has a lot of numbers and I agree it can get slightly overwhelming. But believe me, it's a very easy chart to understand. The trick is to only look for what you need and quite frankly move on from it. Column 1 shows length measurements or in simpler terms your waist measurements. Columns 2, 3, 4 and 5 show the radius measurements for the circle skirt of choice. To use the chart, first start at the top of column 1. Locate the length measurements and go across the chart to the column of the chosen skirt of the radius measurement. For the seam allowances, feel free to subtract either half an inch or quarter of an inch from the radius measurement. The minus or plus symbols represent 1 16th of an inch added or subtracted from the radius measurement. Please feel free to pause this video and review the chart to get a better understanding and if you haven't downloaded the chart at this point, please do it so you don't get confused and you don't miss anything important. The awesome part of using the radius chart for circle skirts and cascades is that this formula applies to all types of circles and cascades and best of all, includes seam allowances. To start out, you have to know your waist measurement. Mine is 26 inches. You also have to know how many seams you want to have in your skirt. I want to have two seams. So the thing to do is to add two inches to the waist measurement, making it 28 inches. If you want one seam, add one inch. And if you want three seams, go ahead and add three inches. It's completely up to you. Subtract 1 inch for stretch. This will bring the final measurement to 27 inches. Locate this measurement of 27 in the column 1 and go across to column 5 for full circle skirt since I want to create a full circle skirt. The radius measurement is 438. We then subtract half an inch for the seam allowance. The finished radius measurement is now 378 inches.
Decide on the length you want your skirt to have and don't forget to add your hem allowance. I'm using 10 inches as my length including my 1 inch hem allowance just to show you how it's done. So fam, there you have it, a finished circle skirt pattern. Feel free to alter this pattern or recreate new ones with different lengths or waist measurements. Also, don't be afraid to experiment with different types of circle skirts and have fun sewing. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe so you don't miss a video from the Sewing Studio GH. Please send questions, comments and suggestions for other videos you want to watch on this channel in the comment section. Or DM me on Instagram at the Sewing Studio GH. I can't wait to hear from you. Take care.